Hi, my name is Neve Dial. I'm a service user and carer involvement facilitator for Southern Health. My name is Xavier Fiddis. I'm the Director of InFocus Education and Training. My name is Kat Cook and I'm the Senior Cultural Engagement Coordinator for Hampshire Cultural Trust. My name is Jess and I'm a Communications Assistant at Southern Health NHS Foundation Trust. And it's my pleasure to be here. I'm delighted to be here. It's a pleasure to be invited. And I'm delighted to be here today to talk about Depth of Me. He's been filming for the last five minutes anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're rolling. So, okay, so Depth of Me, where did it come from? God, yeah. It feels like a lifetime ago. Now, yeah. Yeah, so I think, I don't know if we were the first NHS Trust to do it, but the idea came from an organisation in London mm. who had done it with service users um, there and it had gone off really successfully. So I wanted to take that idea to the organisation and say, how could we do this and mm. listen to our service users and patients more mm. in a very different way than what we might normally do. Yeah. Um, and photography is such an accessible art. It just seemed like the right thing to do. Yeah, and I remember when you came to me and we were talking about something completely different to that mm. and he sat down at my desk didn't you and he said to me I think I've got this project and I was like yes 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 <laughs> yes yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I was like please can I be involved mm. and it sort of just took off from there didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah well we like, arts and health has always had a relationship and so it's really nice to see kind of these like partnerships mm -hmm. to build and concrete kind of how the arts and kind of the health sectors can work together and really um, produce something that's equally kind of um, helpful of sharing skills with um, each other yeah. but also to bring new participants and new people into experiencing yeah. arts yeah. and health. Yeah. The professional support that yeah. you brought into the session so that yeah. if anyone did feel anxious mm -hmm. or did, if anyone needed that extra support mm -hmm. and I think this is like the value again of kind of this partnership is yeah. that you could bring that kind of those support workers in yeah. um, which is and you know we can work with mm. like from the art side yeah. and kind of making sure it's a really welcoming space but mm -hmm. it it all ha worked together. That, yeah. I think that's, I think that's that's the the good thing about the project as well is, is that like you were saying, Jess, is just having that that sort of sense of a level playing field. And actually, yeah. a lot of what we do is even when we're teaching to to young people is sort of saying to them, you know, we're not here to tell you what to do. We're just here to help you try and get those bits out of you and learn a new skill along the way. So yeah. it's kind of a, you know, it's a it's a learning process for them, but also mm. a learning process for us at the same time. Mm -hmm. And actually it being a pilot project as well is really great because they can kind of see, we can learn what mm. we're doing and what, how we can help people better in the future, because obviously there are going to be things that we're, we're not doing exactly right. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but then we can, you know, we also see that progression through the, the people who come and use the service as well and come to the workshops and really enjoy themselves. And, and it's, you know, there's all these great things that go on there. And actually what, what has been produced has been amazing. Mm. Um, and I'm really, you know, really looking forward to seeing mm. what's going to come out of, out, out as an exhibition. Mm. Yeah. I think and just results. that freedom though, yeah. um, you know, us going, whatever fits, you whatever yeah. feels right for you we're, we'd love to see it yeah. and it's like I don't think a lot of our I think a lot of our participants have been used to like no mm. you can't do that but you have to do it this way and we've just really opened the doors and just mm. been like we you know we'd love to see whatever you can produce and we're ready to listen to your story yeah. and you know so pleased to have you involved and I think that freedom is a little bit scary at times yeah. I think we've had to sort of go and that's what the project is about, opening that door but then supporting that person through that journey. What I found with the group, with the workshops, is that they came in, they were a bit worried at the beginning and then mm. they went through the, the process and they kind of, and the idea wasn't to kind of install this pro-level photography no. um, <laughs> thing in them, it was just to say to them, right, here are some skills, 
here are some ways of analysing what you're taking and go away and you create the content, yeah. which might be scary to some people, but I hope at the end of the day that they are actually, they have actually come away with this and, um, and they're actually able to think about what they're taking pictures of in a, in a more informed yeah. way yeah. and therefore they can then put their own stamp on their, on their exactly. imagery at the end yeah. of the day. But then you see this journey that they've all come in slightly anxious, not knowing what to expect. And then throughout the sessions, you see their shoulders go down. <laughs> and then the best part is at that, that last session, they were relaxed, mm -hmm. there was enjoyment, there was laughter, there was chatting, yeah. there was there's socialising, yeah. and the barriers just yeah. came down. And going back to talk, you know, people being really brave to come into something. Oh, absolutely. Particularly if you've never done it before. And even if you have, still willing to kind of come along and say you might have something to learn and something that you yeah. you know you already understand i think that is really really brave <laughs> those poetry <laughs> sessions were just absolutely enlightening yeah. and i think some of the people who i maybe thought okay maybe they might struggle a little bit more they were absolutely Didn't. flying yeah. and you know people who genuinely surprised me and yeah. i was like i'm so proud yeah. that you've <laughs> That you've really opened Jumped up to it and, yeah. and, accept and embraced it um, the way that they have it. And every single participant that you're coming up to us afterwards, mm. going, I've written this, can mm. you check this, Matt? And went up to Matt mm. from Soho and, um, you know, to have I've got these photos, can you have a look? And just that genuine um, interest in the project mm. and what it can do for them. Yeah. And I think that's where the, where the photography and the poetry might have gone hand in hand is actually. There, whilst they were doing poetry of writing, um, they were do, they were doing the same using the same sort of skills mm, yeah. to yeah. be analytical about the photography they're taking, and then all I had to do was kind of say, well, you know, think about your composition a bit, mm. think about how this might look to the mm. to the to the viewer, mm. um, but also coming back to that thing about what does this mean to you um, and what does what this might mean to someone else yeah. whether it was visual whether it was kind of through poetry it was all about that communication mm. you know they learned to communicate how they felt and it was lovely talking to some of the participants who were saying you know that they've been trying to say this about themselves for such a long time but they just haven't been able to kind of put it into words or kind of express it. Mm -hmm. We're not there to mm -hmm. talk in detail about like problems and things or like that care or care plans or, or, any of that. or, or to be yeah. clinical in any way. No. We're there <laughs> as people yeah. to mm -hmm. enjoy this project together yeah. and provide you with a platform to express yourself. Yeah. Um, and that's really what the whole project yeah. was about. And mm -hmm. you know, Neve and I were very sort of hot on the fact that this was something that was different. Mm -hmm. um, you know, yes, we are from the NHS, but we want this to be an enjoyable project mm. that sort of looks at those boundaries sometimes and yeah. says, hold on a minute, yeah. can we do this differently? Yeah. Um, and it was so well received mm. yeah. um, because people just felt so welcome and not judged and mm. just, you know, part of the team. Just accepted. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Part yeah. of the project. And, yeah. You know, that's so special from my perspective. Yeah people who have been involved in the project, participating in the project, now want to continue yeah. projects like this and support other people. And I think it's just inspiring. It has really become a part of people's lives. It's certainly mm. become a part of my life. Mm. Um, and it's one of the best projects I've ever been involved in. Where, you know, we are creating something that's really important, mm. really important to us, really important to them, yeah. and most of all, just helping a lot of people, um, I hope, yeah. uh, that basically, that that have engaged in the project and also want to engage in projects like mm. this afterwards and you know hopefully it, it spurs on other people to then come back to you guys and go yeah. can we have more of this i think it was about i think every workshop felt like connection like it felt like we were connecting people and we were connecting mm. ourselves as well weren't we we didn't know each other mm. very well at the beginning and i feel like <laughs> 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 my family yeah, yeah. <laughs> But, you know, it kind of, it is about that connection and I think that can be what's missing sometimes from our communities and yeah. Yeah. and from people when they are unwell, you know, you, you lose connections and mm. it's, it's mm. harder to maintain them yeah. and there's lots around it, but I think it's just so powerful. But I do feel like those conversations around mental health were bound to come up and mm -hmm. when they did come up, I was so inspired by the way that it was communicated about mm. because 
so many people, you know, we've all got experiences of different mental health issues, but for us it was, okay, that's, but that doesn't, that doesn't define who you are. Yeah. No. How, yeah. how do we share your journey? And I think some of the participants were sort of surprised that we, we just said, just we, no, we were yeah. just like, we want to know you as a person. Yeah. We don't need to know about your illness. Yeah. And I think that is why it worked so well, because actually, even like from artists, cultural organisation and Southern Health, the focus was on the kind of the well-being mm -hmm. of the participants and that is what you'll always go back to. We had so mm -hmm. many different people from all walks of life, mm -hmm. all ages, mm -hmm. um, and they were able to just communicate on a level mm -hmm. where it was just completely non-judgmental, mm -hmm. completely open, all got a passion for something mm -hmm. um, and we've all come to this space to create something yeah. together. Yeah. It was really interesting, we were talking about the title, Depth of Me. Oh, yeah. and uh, how important it was not to have it as kind of a mental health, uh, <laughs> yeah. well be well being yeah. workshop, yeah. but photography. Yeah. 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 yeah, I've only been in the NHS two years, but there is this thing about you know who are you and tell me about your illness, tell me about your condition, mm -hmm. and this just ripped back all the labels mm -hmm. and just said we're all people. That first session, it was absolutely wonderful mm -hmm. to see so many people at the Ashcroft Arts Centre just feeling so welcome yeah. um, and the whole place was buzzing yeah, and right, speaking to um, the manager at Ashcroft Arts Centre he was like I'm so glad that everyone has come here because it, it it's special. something that we are so passionate about um, yeah. and then I think at that last session it was wonderful when I was talking to a participant who I'd met at the beginning and she was really nervous and didn't think that she had anything to bring to the group and then she uh, we were talking at the end and she was just like it's just wonderful it's just wonderful most of my time it feels like it's all about pills and mm. appointments and this has been about healing me and me being me. And it yeah. was just one of those moments that you go, that's why there should always be more of these yeah. things. Yeah. And that's just, it's such a special moment. Just want you to know 